Hey, good morning everybody. It's Pastor Keith with your morning Zoe Project update. Uh, morning, much more in the morning here on the West Coast than the East Coast, uh, but I hope everybody's having a good Tuesday morning. Uh, I'm here at Pier 1 on the Port of San Francisco, and uh, I'm just going to turn so you can see this amazing view of the uh, San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge going across there, uh, and then into the harbor. It's a beautiful morning. We've had some cool weather. Uh, we've got some fog, so we're getting our full San, San Francisco experience here. Uh, I know your biggest question about yesterday was, did you go to see the Full House house? And of course we did. So we Ubered up to uh, the Full House house and took a bunch of pictures. There's one on our Facebook page. Uh, no, it doesn't look like uh, it does on the show with the park and all that good stuff. And uh, we were wondering where Kimmy lived and all that stuff. but. Uh, it was cool to be there and we weren't the only ones. Plenty of tourists uh, there for the Fuller House House. Um, we had our evening off last night, so we got some dinner in the city. We were able to walk around all these great hills in San Francisco. We went by Grace Cathedral, uh, so it was cool to see Grace. So it was locked up, but um, just to take it in from the outside is pretty pretty awesome. Um, and uh, the, later on, some of the group hit In-N-Out Burger. So I think we made the most of our time off and it was good to have some downtime. Uh, we've been keeping a crazy busy schedule, so this trip has been both inspiring in like many ways and I think in ways that we haven't even comprehended yet, and it's been really, really exhausting. We've crashed uh, every night. Uh, the, today on tap, we have, uh, we're going to see some more classic San Francisco things. We're going to see the Golden Gate Bridge later uh, this afternoon, and then we're going to go see uh, the Redwoods and the John Muir National Monument, which Amanda is thrilled about, because uh, she knows lots about John Muir and has been uh, tracking that. So uh, she was hoping this would be on our agenda, and it is, so it'd be just nice to be outside and have a little unstructured uh, time. Yesterday was a busy day. We started off, we saw uh, Sarah Miles at St. Gregory of Nyssa, and uh, uh, I guess a lot of people don't know about her, but uh, I'm a huge fan of Sarah Miles, and it was even more, I think, uh, amazing and a little overwhelming for me to be there in that space, knowing people that have been so influenced by St. Gregory of Nyssa, um, and to hear Sarah talk in person, uh, having read so much of her work. Uh, and I got a picture with her, and I got to say hi, and um, express my appreciation. And it was amazing to be in that space. We posted, or I posted a bunch of pictures from there. Um, and they have these wonderful dancing icons. Uh, and people are asking about the dancing. And uh, they, they do some uh, dancing around the altar. It's sort of like stepping. Um, stuff in the liturgy that goes way back. Uh, so we tried it ourselves. And uh, yeah, we sort of got the hang of it by the end. But there are icons of uh, modern day saints and uh, Martin Luther was there, there's a dancing bear, Lady Godiva, Gandhi, Malcolm X, uh, Thurgood Marshall. Uh, it's really an amazing cloud of witnesses. So that would have been enough for me yesterday. I just could have gone home and <laughs> been happy with and reflected on that for uh, hours and hours and days and days. Um, but then at least my group, group number one, we all did that and then we split off uh, and we went down to the Byright uh, grocery store and heard about their mission there. They have a creamery, and then they also have this nonprofit that teaches people to cook. And so they have cooking classes, so they help people eat healthier, buy smarter, and eat better. Um, and so they have like cooking classes there in, in the mission uh, in San Francisco, and they also do um, classes all around the city in low income areas as well. And their commitment to their mission and vision for that. That minute, it's they don't. It's not a church, but like that kind of ministry uh, was incredibly impressive. So I could have listened to them all day, and then right after that, we met with Andrew Jones, uh, a picnic lunch in the park, and he started missions all over the world. So you had like Sarah Miles at St. Gregory, then you had these amazing people from Byright and 18 Reasons, which is their nonprofit, and then oh, well, let's just meet with Andrew Jones and hear about the ministries he's helped to start in Morocco and Indonesia and all over Europe. And it was like completely um, uh, very heady, uh, amazing. And fortunately then in the afternoon, I think we all had some downtime. So my group learned how to bake sour sourdough bread. We had another group that was in Oakland and they were doing graffiti or uh, like, you know, urban art. It wasn't like graffiti, like they were making a mural. 
um, and so they got to help like spray paint this uh, city mural, which is cool. And then we, we had a group that did fire eating, and so we had people do fire eating. Um, and after like a full morning of learning, it was great to just kind of be outside and do something like that. Um, that's uh, just a little more being in the moment and not so much the process. Uh, so today we have some plenary time, kind of reflecting on our experiences, uh, reflecting on the barriers to innovation. We're going to hear a podcast uh, in this, this morning, the Red Couch podcast. We're going to hear about that. Maybe there'll be a live recording, which would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then the Golden Gate Bridge and the Redwoods. Um, uh, food has been a huge theme in what we're doing here. Lots of ways in which people use uh, food and meals to create community, which is not a new idea in the church or uh, in humanity, but uh, people are doing it in really interesting ways, and uh, San Francisco is such a foodie town. Um, so that's been cool to experience, uh, actually both in LA and here in San Francisco. Uh, nature is a huge way that people uh, gather and make meaning, and so it'll be cool to be in the Redwoods. Um, yeah, so we just have uh, lots going on today. And uh, then we fly home tomorrow. So we leave first thing in the morning for the airport, and we'll be back uh, tomorrow afternoon. So we'll share with you in church uh, when we get back, and I think we're all gonna be just kind of processing all of these experiences, all of these notes, and uh, for me, for my part, I know I just can't absorb it all at once right now in the moment. So I'm just trying to be present and just let it all soak in and then let it kind of sort out and filter out. And, uh, and we're going to keep talking. Our team's been talking all week about the different experiences and different ideas. Uh, and we're trying to capture all of that. So when we get home, uh, we know what some next steps will be. And I think some of those steps will be really engaging our local community because I think we have a better sense of uh, how to go about connecting with uh, our neighbors how to identify needs, how to identify the assets that we bring to bear. Um, and the coaching from Zoe Project doesn't end here. Uh, we're gonna go to Princeton in November and uh, we'll have a, couple, a day or two in Princeton to continue to work on this and then we'll be back in Princeton in February uh, and we meet with our coach every month. So we are um, got a lot of support from a really great crew at, at Princeton and uh, uh, it's been a great experience. All right, so I'm sure there'll be lots of pictures and updates from along the way today, and I'll try to get you one tomorrow, maybe from the airport, as we're waiting for our flight home. But thanks for all your prayers and support back home, and uh, wishing you a good Tuesday. Here's the bridge uh, once again to take us out. Peace, everybody.